Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 18th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to a space weather update, giving you an update on our sun as it has produced an M-class solar flare over the last 48 hours and large multiple sunspot grouping watching the birth of a sunspot. Having a look here, the last 48 hours incoming, this is where we had the M-class solar flare. It did produce a CME in a slight glancing blow position for Earth. Look in the last 48 hours outgoing, we also had a CME in the outgoing direction. Plasma filament eruption on the right-hand side. And as well, left-hand bright region. Look at all those sunspots. Wow. Here's a closer look at the M-class solar flare that struck the southwest region of our sun. Just cresting into view. And it did produce a coronal mass ejection. Right there. But also notable here, the plasma filaments. All around the surface right now just barely hanging on to the surface. Closer look here at the sunspot region that produced the birth of a sunspot in a matter of 24 hour period. We're gonna have a, another look at that just shortly. Here it is. Watch the birth of a sunspot right there. As it moved quickly too. across the surface of the sun, just snaking in and around in between the sunspot grouping. Multi-spectrum here shows active regions which have produced the CMEs over the past 48 hours, outgoing and backside, pretty large backside CME observable on Lasco. But the plasma filaments, just the way they're all snaking around the way they are, curling up, may be a sign of things to come. Definitely going to be keeping an eye on this over the next 48 hours. Stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide. Give you a full world update coming tonight. This is your space weather update. Looking here at 171 angstroms. Just some beautiful imagery. Solar X-ray flux remains in a heightened C range after the M-class solar flare and multiple spikes here with the C-class solar flare. Solar proton flux, a little bit static and up. Geomagnetic activity remains low as we will be receiving the CME tomorrow and into the 19th, or sorry, tonight and into the 19th. Having a look here at the highest frequency affected areas, NOAA space prediction spiral here showing the energy taking off from the sun heading our way little green circle is our planet earth and all of the yellows and the reds is all the space weather heading our way and here is versus ISWA space prediction spiral minor CME right at earth also expecting wind stream from our last event. So tonight and into tomorrow, watch for heightened geomagnetic activity. And then there's the outgoing CME produced by that plasma filament eruption. Right at Mercury, yet again. And here's a look at Alaska 2, showing all of our sun's energy leaving the sun. One CME and two CME. Backside CME right there. And then, wait a minute, just look at the size of this thing though. Wow. Huge CME on the backside of the sun. Thank God that was not Earth facing. Wow, that was huge. And then just recent here, with the most recent activity, giving us a glancing blow. Leave you here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. We'll see you for tonight's update. Daily Dew will be coming for you. Much love.
stay aware, prepared, stay young, and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now.